Hello everyone. Welcome to Health Tutorial once again. Now I am going to start a new series on understanding of power electronics using MATLAB Simulink. So basically in this video I will tell you how to visualize your understanding of power electronics semiconductor devices and power electronics converters for better understanding about these converters and semiconductor devices so now i am sure and i am hoping that you people have installed matlab in your system as i have installed matlab r2022a version so i will continue entire series with matlab r2022a version so now just i am going to start my matlab and want to show you some basic requirements to start this series of videos so this is the matlab okay so just here i'm going to click now my matlab software is getting on now the matlab software is opened so here is simulink so here just i need to click so this is this simulink window and here I have to click to open a blank window of Simulink so that we can create some model. So it will take little bit time. So don't worry about that. So now my MATLAB Simulink window is completely opened. Here we will work. Okay, so this is the Simulink window, and here is the library. So just click here so that entire library will come. So basically, if we want to start working with power electronics, so the main things which we will require that is the commonly used blocks so these are the commonly used blocks so like this we can drag and drop here okay so this is the bus creator bus selector constant data type conversion delay demug okay this is discrete time integrator gain ground in okay integrator logical operators max product okay out put okay relational operators saturation okay scope subsystem sum switch terminator vector okay all this are very important and frequently used simulink blocks without this we cannot go for any kind of model design okay so i will request you all to check one time all this uh, blocks so that uh, in future when we will create different types of converters or devices okay at that time you can easily uh, create all this uh, you can use uh, all these blocks then next which one is very frequently used that is the sources okay so this is the sources this one is very important here we will get different types of sources like constant okay and here is the pulse generator ram you can use ram then repeating sequence means if you want to have some triangular repetitor uh, or uh, a sawtooth type of signals that also you can draw very easily from using this 
okay if you want sine wave okay step uh, signal okay waveform generators okay all these things you will get in this one so i will request you all to visit once again okay uh, very carefully uh, and, and, and observe the names even if it is possible then go uh, and bring like this and double click on this okay and here is the help okay in the help if you will click it will take you to its documentation section where you can study what is about this block okay and how it will uh, help you to draw different types of uh, model okay so these are very important these are very important again i'm telling you and then we need sinks okay here what you will get you will get a scope okay display okay and this is a record okay xy graph okay to work space okay stop simulation floating scope all these things you will have this apart from this if it is possible then you can look all this also like mathematical operations here you will get different types of blocks which will require for the mathematical operations okay like subtracts sum okay summation trigonometric function okay all this you can have in this section okay up to this i think uh, uh, okay okay and later when we will do all the work uh, at the time uh, some more blocks we will require to see so uh, time to time we will watch all that and i think uh, no need to discuss right now up to this the main library we should have or uh, we should have some idea about that library that is the same scape library okay this one same scape library and in this one here just you click and you will have uh, this okay so fundamental library utility drive line electrical fluids multi-body okay so this electrical we require to choose so inside this electrical if you will click you will have all this okay sections okay and this sections which are very important for us that is the semiconductor converters okay semiconductor converters where you will have all the power electronics devices like diode okay diode igbt okay all uh, all all devices you will get okay but thing is that if you will observe this are in blue color okay so definitely why this are in blue color because this are belongs to fundamental library but in our series of videos we are not going to use this blocks we will use the specialized power system blocks okay this one this one we will use specialized power systems blocks so here is the control blocks you will have different types of control blocks then we will have different types of machines okay then we have passive okay passive components in which this one highly we will use that is the rl series branch okay this one we will use to represent r parameter l parameter or c parameters and then which will be useful for us that is the power electronic devices okay so this is the power electronics control okay this is we we will uh, require to use but i will try uh, to less uh, use all this okay because these are pre-made we will try to implement all these things so leave it and the main thing which one is very important for us that is power electronics okay here is the power electronics control and 
power grid elements okay so this also may be required okay we will see in the later sections so here is the power electronics so you can see all these components in black color that means these are belongs to a specialized power system okay category so here is the power electronics so if you will see here you can uh, have boost converter buck converter okay detailed uh, thyristor this is diode okay full bridge okay full bridge mmc full bridge mmc this is gtu okay hub bridge converter then hub bridge mmc ideal switch okay this is igbt this is igbt diode okay this is mosfet three level bridge okay three level non and dc bridge okay thyristor okay so all universal bridge okay two level converter okay two quadrant dc dc converter so all this power electronics semiconductor devices as well as power converters we will use in our this series of videos okay so that we can visualize the behavior of each and every power electronics semiconductor devices and power converters so thank you all uh, i'm just going to stop this video here only and after this video i will uh, tell you all the settings and uh, required uh, settings uh, to open a single link window for power electronic applications so just I'm going to sign off. Stay tuned. Thank you.